Fighting from the blue corner, weighing 101.4 kilos, height six foot one. Six fights, six wins, no losses, no draws. From Barrow, representing Barrow MMA, Team Spartan, Brett the Spartan Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the main event of our afternoon. This is a heavyweight boxing bout for over seven two-minute rounds. The champion, Brett the Spartan McDermott, taking on the challenger, Wes Levy. Lights out, they call him, apparently. He's uh, four and two, he's a big boy. Brett's giving away 10 kilograms in weight. Wes is only 19 years of age, Brett, 37. Everybody so, knows Brett, everybody in Barrow knows oh, him, he's definitely. a local hero. Uh, he's a good mixed martial artist, uh, he fights on Bama, he's a professional mixed martial artist on Bama. He's brought a lot of attention to the local area. He certainly you know, he's is. He's very well respected in this town. He certainly is. Yeah. And, and Wes obviously has given him the respect he deserves, but he's come to fight, he wants the title, he wants the belt. Oh, of course, everybody, you know, everybody accepts in that cage wants to win a belt. Of course, yeah. Title. That's what it's all about. And he's a southpaw as well, which is tough. It's always tough for, yeah. for an orthodox fighter to fight get in hard against the southpaw. He lands a good left on Brett there. His movement's really good. He's avoiding the strikes well. He's thrown a nice left-right combination into Brett. I know Brett recently Brett had coming some... back with a straight right. He takes a right-left yeah. combo and up, throws Ooh. two uppercut. Misses with that left hook. I know he recently had some exploits in Japan. He, he did, did very well out there. He went to Japan. He took on King Mo at three weeks' notice with an injury. Um, taking nothing away from King Mo, he's, he's one of the top fighters in the oh, world for a is. reason. Yeah. But, um, you know, if, if Brett had had a, a good eight-week training camp and everything was Probably right and he was him. healthy, well, who knows, it might have been a different decision. Yeah. They went nearly ten minutes and it was a heck of a fight. And I love the trip to Japan, I'd love to go back again. <laughs> if uh, Jerry Millen's watching and listening, I want to go back, Jerry. <laughs> Take me back to Japan. Bring me with you. <laughs> oh, he's going in quite hard now. It looks like Wes's nose is bleeding. Yeah. He's catching him with some nice jabs, nice little Thing jabs, just tapping them out. So early in the match. To, it, to, to this is seven rounds, it could yeah. go the full seven. We're hoping it goes a few. We don't want it over too quickly. Definitely Brett not. Brett comes to fight, and, and he doesn't like it when people don't fight back, which we have had in the past. So, just try to tire him nice, out. Right to the body, left to the head oh, combo. Good shots from yeah, Wes there. Definitely. Really I nice think... left hand. And he's brought a fight to Brett. That's really good round first one. round. Really good first round. He's given as good as he's got. I think that's he absolutely the thing. has, yeah. I mean, uh, it's a very, very tight round to score. I think he needs his corner men, though, to clean up that nose a little bit. I think so. He was supposed to have uh, a second corner man from reps, but... There's nobody there to help out. That's strange. They said they were going to, but they're not there. Oh, well, such is life. Well, definitely. He's wearing the new gloves that I purchased this week, though. He's Wes, just for this, 12-ounce gloves, uh, just in case any fighters didn't have them. There you go, always thinking I'm ahead. such a good guy. You're a good guy, Bob. <laughs> Are you really going to charge him 10% on top? People don't say it enough. Well. <laughs> or at all. Uh, ever. So Brett has in his corner tonight, he's got um, Serge Walsh, brother of Shea Walsh, uh, Bama world champion, uh, bantamweight, yep. uh, a boxer himself in his day, and, and an absolute cracking guy, head coach of Lancaster Mark and MMA, lovely bloke, fear that beard. <laughs> this bout, of course, is sponsored by DK Warehouses. DK Warehouse of Morecambe. Where you can buy all your furniture, your sofas, your tables and chairs. Go and see Tony, get some bargains. If you say Bob sent you, it's 10% on top. <laughs> yeah, probably. You'd probably charge a bit extra if you say that, yeah. 
Are these both these guys are hitting hard. They are is, going is all anybody's in. Anybody's fight. Balls to the wall. People expect so Brett to come out and win these fights, but you've got a guy who's game and he's yeah. hungry and it's he wants that belt. It only takes one shot when you're this big and that heavy, and you and you hit that hard. One shot and you're out of there. Well, I mean, we saw that before with. Um, we saw it before with, with Jamie Rice. Yeah, of course. Three seconds to go and he took that heavy shot and went to sleep. That could happen at any time, at any point in any round. Absolutely. Wes is using that cage to his advantage, using Definitely. it as a kind of rope a movement, bouncing the bum off the cage to come out and throw some heavy leather. Well, that's the thing. I mean, he's, he's forcing McDermott to start throwing some heavy shots, try to tire him out. Oh, he's lost his gum shield. Oh, Brett is absolutely pounding him in. He can't stop. He's fallen out again. I hope he hasn't given up. He has. He's given he has. up. Oh. Brett won't be too happy with that. He won't like that. He wanted a real fight. You got a good round and a half. Yeah, but uh, Sometimes I, think he, goes, I think he wanted more. Yeah. Unfortunately, it just didn't happen on, on this occasion. You know, I think Wes gave it his all and he ended up hurt. But um, these things happen. Respect to him for stepping in. Yeah, absolutely respect to him indeed. Most people shy away. This fight was offered to, to half a dozen other guys who all turned it down because it was Brett. It, people don't want to fight him and I don't know why. I know he hits hard, I think, I think he's but he is human. Room. There is definitely a stigma of fear attached. and He is the Spartan. He is the Spartan indeed. And, you know, people come in here, they don't want to come and fight him. At least Wes turned up Especially and fought him. in his own hometown as well. Yeah, he, absolutely, with, with 300 people behind yeah. him. Yeah. You know, it's not an easy thing to do. Second, absolutely not. 26 seconds into the second round, the fight was stopped by TKO. To the champion still, the blue corner, Rick the Spartan. Barrow's favourite son. Absolutely. There he is. There he is with my little girl. Making a move on your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> and that belt suits him. And well, I think yeah. he'll keep that for a long, long time. I can't see anyone taking that away from him. Well, if there is anyone out there that wants it, you're more than welcome to challenge. Well, this is it. I mean, like you say, there were a dozen people who, who wouldn't take the challenge. Absolutely. Uh, uh, there were six other people who would not take the challenge. Wes Levy was man enough to step up and take it. You've and got to give and I give him that. massive props yeah. for that and lots and lots of respect for that. I mean, anyone He's who's... a man, you know? <laughs> I know, I think they need a bigger belt. Congratulations, Brett. Cheers for that, Billy Boy. Oh, it's so not see, really. Let's go on the DVD, Ladies and gentlemen, once again, thanks very much for your attendance today. We'll come and thank you, as we like to say, to our referees, Mr. Neil Hall and Dean Ray. Our timekeeper, Mrs. Kath Hall.